You've received a request from the Bishop's Council concerning a few Christian villages that have recently come under intense Formorian attacks. The villages survived because a she sorceress decided to protect them for some reason. The problem is that now the villagers want to turn their backs on the Lord and convert to the Old Faith as a result. The Council has no one to send there at the moment, so they turn to you for assistance in the matter.
Although magic has left Bettergrain Forest, the twisted woods of Penguin still hide at abandoned settlements of the Shi. Ready to serve. The enemy hero is casting us. The enemy hero is casting us. The enemy hero is casting a spell. Your magic shield is under normal strength. Your magic shield is fading.
your spell was absorbed. The enemy hero is casting a sp The enemy hero is casting a spell. Your magic shield is under normal strength. Your magic shield is fading. Your men are going to die. Your spell was absorbed. Your unit is going to die. The enemy hero is casting a spell. The enemy hero is casting a spell. Your soldiers are going to die.
The enemy hero is casting a The enemy hero is casting Fire! a spell. The enemy hero is casting a spell. The enemy hero is casting a spell. On my way. Following the trail of brother. Yes, my lord. Following the trail Ready of Ready to brother. serve.
the trail of Broderick, Merlin's apprentice, your journey took you to London, the last stronghold standing in the middle of the terrible wastelands. London is under the rule of the infamous Sir Caradoc, who had become the iron-fisted protector of the refugees. Caradoc imprisoned the apprentice, and he wanted you to destroy the Formorians in the south before he allowed you to talk to the wizard. Word of your victories in the south precedes your arrival in London. The guards greet you respectfully at the gate, and they immediately escort you to the castle. The refugees of London fill the ramparts and cheer you happily. You meet Sir Caradoc in the same hall as earlier. He offers you wine and food, and expresses his gratitude. You can clearly tell that he means it. You have earned his approval as a knight and an army leader. You dig into the heaps of food and fill your cup with wine. While you are eating, you discuss your victories and the nature of the Formorians. Finally, you politely remind him of his promise. Sir Caradoc summons his guards and tells them to escort you to the prisoner. You enter the bleak dungeons of London. The row of empty cells is a clear reminder of Caradoc's law. The most common punishment here is execution. The apprentice is alone in a barren chamber. You send away the guards and turn to the man. You expected a young man, but you see a middle-aged haggard man instead. He has wild hair and an unkempt beard, and his clothes are dirty rags. He casts a suspicious glance at you, but he says nothing. Broderick gives you a tired look. I made a mistake and trusted Caradoc. I constructed the arcane defenses of London that keep the Formorians away from the walls. It doesn't really feel like a proper answer, and you are too impatient for such riddles. The spell of protection is tied to me. If I get injured, it weakens. If I die, it's gone. After I made the necessary preparations, I wanted to leave, but Caradoc couldn't allow that. For the sake of London, he said, you must have paid a huge price if he let you down here to talk to me. Broderick stares at you defiantly. If I answer your question, you'll leave me here to rot. But if you could persuade Caradoc to set me free, I could help you. Or you could just take over London in the name of Arthur. You should take back what's yours. Despite his infamous temper, Sir Caradoc hears you out patiently. He even seems to think over your proposal carefully. You don't want to rush him, so you wait silently. Even if only for a heartbeat, Sir Caradoc loses his temper, and you glimpse his true self behind the mask of the grim commander. But he immediately regains his calm and offers you a deal. If you must deprive London of its protection, give him 2,000 gold to cover the expenses of the necessary reinforcements. Sir Caradoc sends for the prisoner, and soon you leave London with Broderick at your side. When you are a safe distance from the walls, you ask the apprentice again to tell you the whereabouts of Merlin. Broderick gives you a crooked smile. Merlin has disappeared without a trace. We tried to find him, but to no avail. Even our spells proved worthless. Morgana Le Fay, the Enchantress, had the strongest ties with him, and the last I heard she claimed to be close to finding him. 
As far as I know, she is in Glastonbury, in our secluded sanctuary in the marshland. They are defending the former abbey against the Formorians, but be careful with Morgana. She is a powerful enchantress who craves more power and would do anything to accomplish her goals. So you want to find Morgana Le Fay, my lord? Then hear out my advice, if I might be so bold. Be very careful. She is a temptress and a mighty enchantress. Half mortal, half she, and her incredible beauty is matched by her insatiable craving for arcane power. Then again, if anyone can help you find Merlin, it's her. Alas, it seems that Broderick was telling the truth. Morgana is trapped in the former Glastonbury Abbey, defending their cabal against the Fomorian hordes. You have to get through their magical defences first. Yes, my lord. 